So we're gonna be taking a tour today of one of our ramp rack trucks. We run one person mowing crews. Um, we can fit a 52 inch mower in the back and uh, we're just gonna go over how it's all set up and what efficiencies we have uh, to take advantage of with it. I'm at a favorable angle here. Backing up is a little bit more sketchy, but 52 inch mower basically barely fits between the wheel wells. On some trucks, we do have to kind of beat the wheel wells in a little bit to fit it in there. Um, but it makes it really nice. The mower is way in there. If we were to back it on, it, like I said, I don't know if we'd be able to do it with, without the favorable angle. Um, it's really nice and easy to get off. Otherwise, you got to climb around the mower to get off the truck. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and set up some other stuff. We got the trimmer racks over here. Uh, with the trimmer racks, I'm not sure if this is the best thing. This is how we did it. I know you could set them up up here as well, but we just decided not to do that and uh, mounted them on the side so it's nice and easy to get them off. With this, you absolutely need tow mirrors. Um, we've So that's one thing we've upgraded on all these trucks is to have the tow mirrors so we can actually extend these out so you can see around. Um, we're taking everything out of this enclosed trailer over here and putting it on this. And then when we're done for the day, we can actually fit this truck into the shop. So it's nice, secure, dry, um, and it really creates an efficiency where the guys can come in, park the truck, and leave. They can come in in the morning, grab the truck, and go. So they don't have to, with the trailers, we don't have enough room in the shop. It require a pretty big shop to restore trailers full of mowers. So with the trailers, we had to load up everything every single day, unload everything every single day. So this allows the guys, you know, coming coming out from a hard day's work to just go, go to the shop and go home, not have to really worry about. I mean, they have to fill up in the evenings, um, but other than that, they're able to just kind of really get in and get out of here. And that really helps with the efficiency. So we have the trimmers over here, so it only made sense to put the spool holder on this side as well, just in case they need this, you know, if they're messing with the trimmer and they realize they need string, they're probably gonna be on the side of the truck. So we put this right here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and mount that up. So there's no cutter on this, so we still need something to cut it. Um, but it is a really nice and convenient way to store the string. So now we're gonna go ahead and set up the trimmers. I've gotta adjust the uh, the brackets on this, um, or on the trimmers, so it can slide into this set. So let's go ahead and get started on that. All right, so now that we've got everything on there, took it down the road for a spin, and um, yeah, so we'll just do like one final walkthrough uh, with it. So this is a it's a long bed regular cab truck. Try to run just the regular cab so we can fit them inside of our shop. Um, so we have this blower holder here. It's pretty nice. It's lockable. Um, you just pull this lever. This lever right here releases it, opens up, and then you're able to go on your way. Drop it. This is the ramp rack with the mower. So basically, you just pull these out at the same time. Okay. It's really nice and light. Really nice and light. You can drop it in and out. Uh, we have the string and the trimmer racks on the side right here. With these, you need the tow mirrors on the trucks. So we had to upgrade all of our trucks with the tow mirrors, but well worth it. Uh, we have an air tank back here, just in case they get a flat in the field or they get somewhere and they realize they have a flat. Um, we have a trash bucket, have fuel cans in there. Um, and then these are just a shovel, a tamper, and then a rake. So like if they get stuck in a soft spot or something like that, um, they can fix it. And then 
uh, seed it when they're done. So it makes them very self-sufficient, to say the least. The goal is to make sure they have everything they need. You don't have to have revisits. Um, but yeah, here's the trimmers on the racks. It's on the curb side, so you may be able to get it. And then a blower's on the other side for one, just so it has room. And then two, when blowing is typically the last thing, so you put it back in there on the way back to the driver's seat. And then we have a string holder. Um, nice little thing there. So each truck should have, theoretically, uh, we've got the two circle and the door. We have a tool set. It's a really nice tool set. Um, show you real quick what we got in it. Got this on Amazon. It has all the all the fun things we need. Um, this was like drywall screws. We took fuses and put them in there instead. Uh, something that was a bit more useful. A uh, bunch of good stuff. So every truck should have one of these. So if something goes down in the field, we have a tow strap. A couple extra bungees just in case we need something else some seed in case we have some damage um, and then each truck has a jump box as well this is the other part and i wanted something like this that we could charge usb because we had jump boxes in the trucks before and then they go use it and the damn thing's dead so with it always charging we shouldn't have to worry about a dead jump box and we do have cables behind here as backup so that's a quick tour of our ramp rack setup and uh, if you have any suggestions or any other tools that you think we should have on here um, or any comments or if you like what you see, uh, let me know. So at the end of the day, instead of having to unload the mower, throwing the trimmers in the shop and all that good stuff, we are able to just pull the truck in, park it, even leave the keys in it, and clock out and get out of here. We have two more spots for the other two trucks. They're out in the field working today. We have these two spots, so this, this place is, we're filled to the brim, to say the least. Um, so yeah, so we park all the trucks in here. It's easier to pull in and back out um, than it is to back in because when you're out in the bright sun and you're backing into the dark dark garage even with the lights it's really dark comparatively um, it's uh, it, it can be really challenging so but yeah it's it's really it's really a tight fit the other truck will come up to like right here so there's still some space to walk through but not very much and uh, this one pulls up to about halfway in front of the door I believe and that's our little ice machine so the guys they come in here fill up their ice and the coolers bada bing bada boom throw their cooler in the truck back out and go go on about their day makes it really nice because they don't have to worry about shifting tools somebody took my trimmer anything like that because it's on their truck already and they won't forget it um so yeah really love this setup i think it's a uh, i think it's going to be you're going to see a lot more of this with other companies so, yeah, thanks for watching.